Like, what else do you want me to do? It's like a low-level random encounter. I use fear on it. It looks like the animation makes it look like it hits, but it's useless, so... Yeah, it's a strange one. Anyway, I will not be wasting more time on that. And I'll probably get rid of the fear, fear one, honestly. Uh, fire doesn't quite work as well. Now I'm really hoping one of them targets Locke. I bet he won't get hit now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, Antidote in battle here. So I'm, I, I feel confident enough to just play around a little bit here. But of course, uh, now it's going to refuse to hit Locke. I also want to just see if the status stays. It seems to stay, which is a good sign. But of course, it's just never going to hit lock. Maybe that's part of the mechanics, it just doesn't try, because it's invisible. There you go. Fine. So much for that. That's what I mean, it's just... I think he takes less damage, probably, like he gets less hit, or there's more chance that it misses, etc. But, like, in reality, like, compared to what it probably does on paper, it just doesn't... it just doesn't help very much. In any case, we're nearly at the Mystic Chest Rooms. The Mystic Key Rooms. So his intellect keeps going up. Let's see how we do with that. Nice. Good job, BB. Right, let's get in here. Ooh. Ghouly. I'm gonna respect it and because I don't want to rerun the section again. Definitely not. Okay, I think that's close enough. Let's see what happens here. Oh no, it's this encounter again. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Um. bad. Yeah, the two of them together being able to take one of them out definitely helps. So, Locke has double the number of attacks, supposedly. Let's see how that, again, works out. IRL. Um. Okay, she's getting picked on a lot. Only one hit, I guess that helps. So we selected one turn each so far, and we've been trading. I missed. Let's see how big Cura is. Uh, none of the state's effects are working, it seems, also.
But yeah, again, I'm not seeing Lop get an extra turn here. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> it's definitely, it's still session two at the moment. Um, so I'm still, I, I need to look into those mechanics. They don't make sense to me. Like, it should be very simple. It, I mean, what does it say? It literally says, um, doubles one ally's number of attacks. Now, there's no way I'm dumb enough to not notice that that was double and I just didn't see it as double. Like, it, it was literally, it's a turn-based system. Everyone selected one set of turns. We attacked. The enemies attacked us back and then everyone selected one set of turns again. And the reason I tried it on Locke is that because he's also the quickest, he has 24 agility, so he's already much faster, and he has haste, but there's no way that he used more turns. He didn't double his turns, that didn't happen. So that ju it just flat out doesn't do what it tells you that it does. So come on, man. Like, I don't know, that's strange. Now, is it going to be monsters again, or do we... Uh... I hope it's not... Oh, good, okay. At least it's not the same encounter over and over, so that's fine. I think I will use a Cura on him. And now this is a good time to use the final Fire that we have. 103. 73 is not enough, so they have a decent amount of HP. Let's hope this helps. Yeah, that's good. Oh, nice. Silver armlet, okay. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely a good one for lock. Excellent. Unfortunately though, my fire being lost is not great. I'm gonna flee this one. This encounter just annoying. Forces you to just use more MP with VB, which I don't really have. Hmm. This one we will go for the normal attack here. Speed it up. Oh, he has like some kind of auto regen effect. It wasn't that it drained from my poison. Fine. That's what it seems like. Um, let's see how the ethers work in this game. One MP for each magic level. That's not great. He literally only gets one more spell back. It pales in comparison to other stuff, but even one fire I think is going to be useful. So I think we should still use it. Yep. Okay. Uh, try and see if we can paralyze one of them. Definitely taking less damage though, you can see the silver armlet uh, making an impact. But the fact that both of them attacked and the demon survived is a bit shit. There you go. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a huge amount of MP left. And there's two more rooms after this, so honestly I might just not do much. The fact that they're so strong to magic makes BB a little bit redundant in these fights. And since he can't seem to get any of the stage effects to hit either, it just doesn't help. But we're starting to slowly overpower them now. Even if they do hit hard. We just need to heal a little bit more after the fight, but... Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Wow. Went from Silver Armlet to Antidote. That's cool. I think this is the last one, and then we have one little potion to grab. I think. Auto battle this one out. 
Come on, hammer. Ah, that's not enough. Thankfully we killed it before it could attack, that was nice. Hmm. Like a secret chest or I think still. What I might do I still go for a thunder here on one of them. Ooh. Even their fleas just don't work. <laughs> Oof. That's nasty. Good attack from Yuna, though. I think the hammer's generally working pretty well, the mithril hammer. It's starting to make her, like, a semi-viable physical attacker option as well. Hmm. So I'm just trying to... I'm turning counters off here. I'm just going to tap around in case it's one of these. We haven't seen much of that yet in this game. Like, I think sometimes things are just empty. Like, that's just the way it is. It's not that there's a secret thing in here. Yeah, I've definitely tapped every square of this place. And from here, I think I will take the liberty of just keeping encounters off and just quickly grabbing this final. I'm pretty sure it was a potion. So we can complete all the chests here and get out. Don't want it to turn into too much of a slog. I would have just increasingly started fleeing encounters anyway. Oh, okay, it was money. Fine. But not that important. Okay, let's get out of here. And again, I think this is the kind of thing that would shield me a little bit from some of the, the less good aspects of the really OG Final Fantasies, like the the repetition, I mean, the game, again, is just not big enough. It doesn't have the, the best tree and all of that kind of stuff to, to hold up. Having, like, you know, 60 encounters in the same dungeon uh, just to get, like, three or four extra chests. Do you know what I mean? Like, all of this stuff, again, we would have had so many more encounters here. Um, the game just not... I don't think there's enough dynamism and depth to make that fun. And so this is, again, where you have to kind of take control of your own experience and just do what you think you're going to enjoy best. I'd rather that than sort of force myself to slog through all of that stuff and then say, oh yeah, there was just too many encounters. I had to slog through or whatever. So, I think so far at least, this is the way I've, I've been wanting to play. Yes, it does cut the runtime a little bit, but I do think, um, for me at least, it's probably the best way. I'll, I'm obviously picking and choosing when to do it, but in general... I am going to employ it sometimes, especially on revisits to areas, I think it's just not worth it. The first time you experience a new dungeon and the enemies there and that kind of thing, obviously it's very different. But if you're just coming back for a little cleanup, I think it's just not that important. So ultimately, we've got one nice thing, one crap thing, and then a nothing. <laughs> Which... You know, considering you need a mystic key for it, it's a little bit harsh, I think. But... There we go. Let's head into the keep. So yeah, now I can go into... This room should be empty now. Yeah. I don't know if this is later going to become an area that does have encounters, but for now at least. Just in case monsters have a quick look. Yeah, no fire left, unfortunately. But, yeah. Okay, I think I have something for these guys. I've got a little something for y'all. I think, honestly, nothing else is going to be necessary. I think I should be fine. Yeah, they've basically all got their turns in before me, every single one. <laughs> Fair enough, but now hopefully they're going to die. Okay, new weapon. 
Hmm, same power as his current thing? Interesting. But yeah, we'll take it for lock, I think. His accuracy is very good. Uh, more of the same. Interesting. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that mummies are probably undead. In case one of them is not. In case they're not. Ooh. The sleep is pretty nasty. Is that gonna wake him up again? No. Alright, let's hope it does the job. See ya, boys! level ups there as well. Strength going up is good. Strength going up is good. Only luck. Wow. But HP still went up another big chunk. Steel gloves. Mm. It really drops his evasion, but maybe it doesn't matter too much. So I guess the bronze ones we can probably sell. Another set of undead, and we're ambushed. I mean, if we all get put to sleep here, there's there's literally nothing I can do. We'll see. Oren really tanking that. So yes, he went to sleep, but that was oh well. So woke him back up. That worked out perfectly. That was fortunate. Um, maybe fear works well against the undead. Maybe that's the that's the niche. We'll see. Wow, that was bad. Also bad. That's better. And they're really picking on Auron here. But yeah, once again, the whole fear situation hasn't affected anything. Surprise, surprise. Good. They're getting a lot of turns, man. Okay, you're doing slightly better. I think from here we just try to take them on, finish it. Wow. I think the Mithril Hammer should still do some damage. So without the mages, it definitely gets more difficult. But yeah, good, good boost there. We'll take that. Oh, yeah, we'll take those. Very nice. Okay. Cool. I think that's that. Check. Um, I think basically we can start to make our way back to the Chaos Shrine now, I think. Oh, what? I missed something? Yeah, so this is a perfect example of encounters off. Let's just go and quickly pick up what we missed. I think it's that final room again. With like the 65 different chest rooms. Maybe there was one more Mithril key room. Maybe I missed it. I think there were four, actually. I might have only gone into three. And this is what I mean. If you did this like back in the day, you were screwed. That This meant like another two hours of encounters to, to do this. And it was going to affect your like balancing, because obviously you'd have two hours, two more hours worth of experience and all that kind of stuff, so... It's a whole different thing. Ah, yes, there's the final one. Okay, sorry, my bad. It's just so many of them, you don't know where it begins and ends. I think I... Yeah, I assumed I was at the end of it. So, 
This place is a... This one's going to be a bit of a problem, though, because I don't have great MP here. But I will use an ether. Um, to give myself a chance here. Here we go. Yeah, it's these bastards again. I probably should have healed up. That's not smart. Um, I think I'll still fire it anyway here. Even though they're very strong to it. Wow. Yeah, the preemptive doing a nice job there. I think from here we should be able to just go head to head with them. Yeah. Okay. What do we get? Okay. Again, it wasn't the, the best thing in the world, so I don't feel that bad about missing it the first time. Definitely have plenty of gill. I think I'm going to invest a bit more of that gill into ether this time around. In the grand scheme, they're not that expensive. So I think from here, what we can do is basically head back towards uh, Cornelia Castle and then onwards towards the Chaos Shrine again, because I think we'd have like new stuff unlocked because we still haven't powered up any of the crystals and that's kind of the point right so I think we can start to make a push towards that now right so let me check one more time uh, we have this place as well this was previously locked, so I guess I'm going to go back to where the keep was and then put the encounters back on and then just continue heading north. That was the one thing I did miss. I forgot you could access it from this side, so we continue on. Um, another save. I think. And probably worth a 10, honestly. Yeah, it gets you a decent chunk of MP back. I think it's, it's pretty worth it. Ah, shit. It's only accessible by ship. Fine. Yeah, look at that power staff. But yeah, I guess now I'm trying. I'm remembering the first encounter I accidentally got into in the power in the chaos shrine, and like now I think I need to actually take those guys on. <laughs> so I think everything at this stage, in this part of the world, I should be able to just power through. Especially now that my mages have got stuff that can do a bit more damage as well against most enemies. Keep it moving now. I think I will use a fire at this time. Though. When there's like this many of them, it really helps. Even in the auto battle speed up, like all of the animation times, they just add up. But you can see I have the power staff now, but the magic's still doing the same amount of damage, so it definitely doesn't seem connected to that. Okay. Um, just a quick item restock, I think, at this stage, or maybe... The fact they only have one tier 2 spell is probably not very good. I should probably take a Thundara or Blizzara. So we'll do that. And I think... I'm going to take a Confuse as well. None of that shit has worked at this point, but I'm just taking it anyway. And we'll probably get a Thundara later. There's no magic slots for those two, right? No. Also pick up a few more items. So... Pick up that. 
tents are very well priced. I didn't realize how cheap tents were in relative terms. Like, there, it, there's almost no point of this. This is really good. Okay, I think we'll leave the rest. should have rested. That's fine. I'll manage. I'll just rest up at Cornelia once again. My favourite pit stop. What happens if they can't... Yeah, it switches to attack. Yeah, if they don't have the MP for it, that's nice. Before that, though, quick visit to the king. Nothing new. Okay. I think it's basically once you power up the first crystal, probably. Then they get some new stuff. Okay, dance chick. Rumor has it that you can get into the locked rooms in Castle... Ah, yeah, shit, sorry. I forgot about that. Thank you, dancer. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's a queen in here. Let's see what she has to say same stuff. Now, where are these extra rooms? Uh, kind of have to go around the outside. Yeah. The way around from the left and not the right, of course. There were two choices. I picked the wrong one. I thought it was symmetrical. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered either way, but clearly it does. This guy, the time has come to use the key to open the doors. The equipment within is sure to help you. I'm hopeful here. Okay. Cottage. Saber. Mithril. Well, the mithril knife seems good. Power Staff or Mithril Knife? Hmm. Feels to me like accuracy generally seems to work a bit better, honestly. Tent. Ah, Nitro Powder, yes. Okay, I remember this. I can take this back to... Oh, Iron Armor, yeah. No, actually, to be fair, most of this stuff is not that useful to me. Okay. At least we got him, though. Finish things off there. Now I can head towards the dwarves. 